hi everyone and welcome to today's video i will be showing you how i spend my day when i have the kids at home for now i am washing school uniform i will later on do some meal prep wash the babies do some skincare and i hope that you're going to stick around to see all of that in today's video if you are new here my name is robertina mula and i hope that you are going to consider subscribing like this video and leave a comment down below yeah so next i am washing the babies i have my baby girl here and uh she took her bath i did it outside i decided to wash them outside today because the sun was high and it's good for them because they get to take in the vitamin d yeah and they really enjoy they really enjoy this i used the same basin uh, after the baby after washing one baby i washed the basin set up some uh, fresh water for the second baby to take a bath all right so there's my son he's testing if the water <laughs> is warm yeah he he wouldn't make a mistake of getting inside hot water all right so water. i'm also trying is to teach hand? him how Wash to take a bath so over here i was with telling him hands. to pick both up hands. the water with yes. his, with both Wash of his hands face. to wash his face but yeah no, he's no. doing his own yes. stuff no, as you can face. see mm. yeah though he's trying i'm not in a hurry i'm not even like giving him pressure to learn and you know all those things i just want him to take his time to learn because eventually he will know this thing all right so there's no pressure at all yeah so i'm just going to wash him today uh this time around i took uh, my time uh, over the weekend i like to take my time when i'm washing the kids so that i can go deep it's like deep cleaning my baby <laughs> yeah so <clears throat> yeah i i cut his nails i clipped his nails uh you know thoroughly brushed his teeth clipped his toenails as well and, and made sure that his entire body was clean and you know when throughout the week if we wash him sometimes when he comes from school and he's very dirty I wash him but I do it very hurriedly because of the weather here in Nanyuki it can be really cold so I wash him quite fast so that we can just get out of water but remove ile uchafu ya juu you get what I mean okay yeah so this is what I'm doing and after this I'm going to now take care of myself I'm going to make a homemade uh, facial scrub or mask or whatever you want to call it yes and i will apply it on my face and then um go ahead and do other things like meal prepping and all of that so stay tuned keep watching drinks more lately that pills many different colors too morning light is showing she moves the chair to look out at her view but a shop was bought right across the street and it stands by the sun or as he used to be in the afternoon so next i am going to make my face my facial skincare mix i will call it a mix and i'm going to be using the lemons some sugar honey and what else yeah i think that's all and i'm mixing it in this uh bowl it's actually a reusable bowl from some of the wheater bigs that we buy in this house yeah and i'm just going to mix it up apply it on my face yes and that will be it i'm just going to add a lemon to this mixture i use my kitchen whisk and mix it all up then apply it to my face and that will be it i will let it sit on for some time before i take my shower since she got a family of her own It's kept the two apart Used to have so many visitors But now the only one Is the nurse that helps her move the chair To look out at the sun But a shop was built right across the street And it stands where the sunrise used to be In the afternoons and the catch to read Goes through old pictures and memories Our heroes have been forgotten our heroes so brave and bold Our heroes have been forgotten Our heroes so they got old Our heroes have been forgotten Our heroes so brave and bold Our heroes have been forgotten Our heroes so they got old Yes, 
yes so now i am in the kitchen uh the mixture the skincare mix <laughs> i don't know what to call it is already on my face and here i want to prepare my cereals i have these yellow beans and some bazi i can't remember the english name from bazi yeah so these ones uh when i bought them they were they had already been selected but there's these small small uh beans that you know are spoiled so those ones will float on the top and i will remove them with a sieve yes and i will wash them because i want to soak them and boil them later on so that i can add to my meal plan for the coming week yes and that's uh, what i'm doing here i'm just washing them I'm going to remove the, the the ones that float on the top yes and make sure that when i soak i'm soaking them in clean water okay yeah so that is one thing that i usually do around uh, during the weekend soak any series that i'm planning to uh, you know use uh, over the coming week but uh, as part of our meals yes and uh, that's what i'm doing here i will uh, soak these and boil them later on in the evening then store them in the freezer it will be enough to last a week yeah and uh i think uh, so far so good so there's that and then uh, you'll also see uh, me washing these thoroughly removing them from this bowl because i felt like it had a lot of dust when you look at the water down there you see over there it has some dust so i want to make sure i clean it and also clean it or clean it again over running water through a bigger sieve so that when i soak it it is clean and it doesn't soak in you know the the dirt doesn't go into the beans if you get what i'm saying okay so that's what i'm doing i will do uh for the mbaazi you will see them later i have to select those because they have some uh they have a lot of that those ones were not selected i need to select those i did it off camera and then came back to show you how i soak them yes and as you can see here i see they are really dirty so i have to wash that make sure that we are soaking it in a uh, clean water they are only themselves so another thing i will do with the soaking is to add a uh, carrot i saw this in one of not one very many actually youtubers here uh who soak uh the beans is it i don't know if the stage is the soaking stage or it is the boiling stage i really don't know i hope but i hope i will do it right so i will put the carrot uh, it is supposed to absorb all gases you know when you cook beans and then you have a uh, bad stomach you you get gas so that carrot helps with that so i'm going to add it here i hope it is the right stage but i will i've never done it before anyway so i don't but if there's a, a right way please comment down below <laughs> and let me know how i'm supposed to do it so i will add the carrot on the yellow beans and also on the mbaazi all right so yeah that yeah i'm just making sure no beans go inside my sink because i do not want my sink to you know like block and as you can see i'm agitating the beans so very much because i want to make sure that they are clean so i agitate as much as i can mixing mixing washing making sure it is super super clean okay yes went ahead after that boiled them uh, in the evening and um the result was amazing Yeah, guys so for lunch you're going to have this this is a uh, leftover cabbage mixed with pork we are going to have it with some chapati i'm going to buy the chapati actually and also 
um, uh, for the kids uh, baby girl already has her food and Lincoln is going to also eat this food uh, that we are going to be eating and then we will follow that up with some cake in case anybody still wants to have some cake with some milk Yeah guys so this is much much later and my beans have soaked really well I've already boiled the mbazi and now I want to boil these beans yet yeah, as you can see my mbazi has cooked well I'm using the pressure cooker to do this it's it is making the process so much faster and easier and by the way guys I bought this pressure cooker off of Jumia last year it has been a whole year and it has been serving me really really well if you want to buy your own pressure cooker on Jumia I will leave the link down below so that you can go ahead and purchase if you do not know how to place the order reach out to me through the my description box and I will be sure to help you out <music> Yes, so now I am about to take my shower. Everyone has already had their shower. It is just me and I wanted to be the last person so that I can take my sweet time in the bathroom. I want to wash off the lemon honey sugar mix off my face. I want to wash it off and I will start with that. That's why I was boiling some hot water there. I want to use uh, my basin to do that and then I uh, just make sure that I have completely rinsed it off and then go ahead with my toner so for my bath products i'm going to use dove uh, the the dove uh, what do you call it shower gel and the detol even tone uh, bathing soap it smells amazing it does leave the bathroom smelling amazing and this is uh, a new find that I think I will keep I started using Dettol even tone when I was pregnant because my my face had really broken out and there's a lady at the chemist the good life chemist she advised me to be using it and then uh, follow up with a simple uh, brand toner all right so here I've already I'm already done with my shower and I've brushed my teeth and now I want to do my mouth even some time back when I had a really bad sore throat and uh, my doctor gave this to me and it really comes comes through and it leaves your mouth feeling so clean and fresh and I've been using it for a while now and it's almost finished and I think I don't know if I'm supposed to replace it after it is finished or what but uh, we consult and then um, do the necessary so i'm supposed to use 10 meals uh, for every rinse just gargle uh, swish it around the mouth and spit it okay okay yeah, guys so i ended up washing my hair and left it in this uh, twist yeah so i'm gonna leave these on they will dry up and then when i need to step out of the house i'll just unravel them and then i will have some really nice defined curls yeah, and my girl here. <laughs> she just wants to play. What are you eating? Una kula nini, mom? Una kula nini? Una kula later. Later. Eh? <laughs> eh, thank you. Good girl. Tu pa yenge ne? Shika. Eh, shika. Later. Good girl. Yeah, so this comes this is the end of this vlog i hope you enjoyed uh if you saw something that you my baby girl i think she's learning she's learning to speak and she has been you know pronouncing yeah. a few words here and there she knows how to say mom she can say baba she can also say shika like shika i don't know if it's shika or kuja but it does sound the same but you know one thing with kids is they will learn one word and everything is that word like she will be meaning that she wants to go but what she's pronouncing sounds like she wants to come all right yeah senior Say one, one, <laughs> eh? count one, two, 
Surprises. 